this is why I believe 40 and 50 year olds are the dopest generation, at least today's 40 and 50 year olds. I can't speak for everybody else, but y'all are probably the first group of women, especially mature women, that have the wisdom and the cooking skills and the natural maternal instincts of the previous generation while not even looking like the generation that you're in. He says you're the generation that has all the skills of the previous generation, but you look so young, kind of like a day walker in Blade. But then he ended it with saying, probably because you weren't beat down by men like the previous generations. You know, maybe because you ain't been in no relationship that's beat you down, you know, over the years, y'all are able to go and pursue your own dreams and all of that instead of ba basically being so subservient. I noticed that any every time he spoke about uplifting women, he was downing men. Of course, man, you got to understand, regardless of what society says, if you in your 40s and your 50s, you something special. And when you something special, you don't let just anybody play with that. And he says, regardless as to what society says, you're the shit. And therein lies the problem. Take out society and put in the world. See, why Derek Jackson and these kind of messages are problematic is because they sound good. They feel good. You know? I could do the same thing as an image consultant. I could have a client come in and I could tell them exactly what they wanted to hear. And actually, I guarantee you, I'm probably better at it than him. Derek Jackson or Kevin Samuels? Do you hate the player or do you hate the game? A couple of weeks ago, we posted a video called Derek Jackson gets checked by the Manosphere after Kevin Samuels reaction. The comment section was full of Derek Jackson is a simp and Derek Jackson is a beta male comments. But in those 700 plus comments, there were also some comments that mentioned the game. The game that Kevin Samuels and Derek Jackson both play. The great thing about Kevin Samuels and Derek Jackson is that they're kind of like day and night, hot and cold. One is telling women what they want to hear, the other one tells women what they need to hear, which is exactly what they do not want to hear. Even though they share a different message, they both book successful results and make good money. Before Kevin Samuels blew up, he got criticized by the Manosphere because he took a stance that most men in this space don't support. One of the things Kevin Samuels talks about on his platform is marriage. The direction of the platform went more towards women and it gave his channel a boost. He didn't tell women what they wanted to hear, he told them what they needed to hear. Now, but this is happens. The older you ladies get, the more you get set in your ways. Book a session, because I don't want to do this in public, man. Because you seem like a sweet woman, but you don't, but you're not getting it. You're being so mean. I'm not being, don't tell me I'm being mean. I, I, I'm about to be mean. I get tired of you broads telling me I'm being mean because you cannot handle the goddamn truth. The average at best video went viral and it affected the other player's game, Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson finally came out with a response and did exactly what a good player does in this game. As a woman, how y'all letting anybody gauge your attractiveness or tell you that you're average at best in terms of how attractive you are as a woman? You don't even know if they really like women like that. If they, you know, if they're attracted to Derek Jackson catered to his audience. Derek Jackson protected his assets. From an objective businessman's perspective, I gotta give him his props. What? Are you giving Derek Jackson his props? I just did. Let me give you a heavier example of giving props from an objective businessman's perspective. Slavery, the treatment of human beings as property deprived of personal rights, has occurred in many forms throughout the world. But one institution stands out for both its global scale and its lasting legacy. The Atlantic slave trade. The Atlantic slave trade. A lot of people do not understand that this was business and still is business. Black people are still used to enrich everybody but themselves all over the world. They know exactly how to get us mad. They know exactly how to keep us in check. They know exactly how to keep us from doing what we need to do. In this video, Howard Nicholas explains exactly what the West is doing to make sure Africa stays poor for the sake of Western countries. To point one, to point one, meaning that with all these vast resources being produced, how much are they getting for it? Nothing, nothing. This is a very significant 
piece of data. A must see video. I put the link in the description. From an objective businessman's perspective, you have to give them props for the ways they conduct their business. This doesn't mean that we agree or support this kind of business. A good example is Jay-Z. As a kid, I was a Jay-Z fan. I went to his concert and put the diamond in the air. Jay-Z didn't make it a secret that he used to sell drugs and made a lot of money doing it. You have to understand that Jay-Z participated in the further destruction of the black community and made it look cool. Derek Jackson is doing the same thing. He's metaphorically selling women drugs, telling them what they want to hear. It makes them feel good. It makes them high. It makes them feel like they can fly. But the drugs are killing them slowly from the inside out. And it only leaves us with delusional, dysfunctional and low quality women. That's why we do not support that game. We don't agree with everything Kevin Samuel says, but his game has a better influence on the black community.